Uh, emergency preps from A to Z. Yeah, oh, right. really? Yes, okay. Well, I'm kind of curious about this. We'd like to prepare. And so, uh, A, alcohol-based sanitizer. Yay! Okay. Uh, B is for battery-powered radio. Okay. I, I can see that. I, I you know, I, I guess I have, I have a few around here. So, it's, uh, C, cash. Need that in an emergency. D is for drinking water. Uh, e is for emergency contact list. You know, that's something I don't have. Do you have one of those written down, Joe? No, but I mean, I, you it's talked about my, It's in my phone, man. It'll be fine. Yeah. So like <laughs> if it's going to be like a, whatever, a space event, solar flare, none of that shit's going to work anyway. What are you going to do? You're going <laughs> to dial the phone? Yes. Until it starts working again. You're going to, you got a landline. Dialing. The fuck? Yeah, I'm just going to start dialing randomly, and, and hopefully something will happen, you know? <laughs> That's how phones work. <laughs> I forget. I'm going to get somebody. Pick up. All right. Mike, by the way, the, the joke of it is, if you were to get that, um, uh, if you were to take that sound file you have that's got them dialing and get a live connection, you could probably actually trick the phone system into dialing it. Yeah, we'd recognize those tones. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> no. Hello. I somehow got Hello? got Joe Biden on the line. He's there. Man. The By the way, if anyone has, if anyone's, if anyone's not a uh, a listener to the Jimmy Dore show, when he has um, oh, what's he got? Mike McRae do Joe Biden on the phone. It is worth every freaking. Oh, he's penny. he's fantastic. Uh, you don't like it. You don't like he Joe makes Biden? him sound like he's more with it than he is, That's, but yeah, he's funny. Well, uh, F for the prep list is for fire extinguisher. And then you have uh, G is for generator. I bought have both those. H is for haz hazardous material kit. Okay. Um, in the event of a chemical spill or other hazardous materials, it's important to have hazardous material kit on hand. This should include protective gear such as gloves and respirators, as well as supplies for cleaning up uh, and neutralizing the hazards. Are they talking about like you knocking over like an old car battery or like there's a massive chemical spill at that factory at the edge of town that comes rolling into in you know down the street? No, I, they're not very specific here, much like the blind seer. Because the goggles do nothing. Yeah, I don't, maybe... Yeah, I, I mean, I can just put on anything, I guess. Yeah. Sweet potatoes and oh. collard greens <laughs> and a big salad and corn on the cob and deviled eggs and green beans and chicken fried steaks. I don't know how a big salad is going to help me fight a chlorine spill, but I'll try. Hey, why not? <laughs> I don't have a suit. I do have collard greens and deviled eggs. <laughs> chicken fried steak. Okay. I'll take the chicken fried steak to the chlorine spill. Maybe I can resuscitate people with the big salad. There's a lone man at the edge of the pool just throwing what looks he's, like chicken fried steak into it. He's shoving big salads into people's mouths trying to resuscitate them. <laughs> That's not how you do it. But he's trying. Uh, number I. Uh, number I. No. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> number I. Uh, number I. Insurance documents. Yeah. You gotta want that. You gotta you want to file your claims right away when it, when like a, a nuclear bomb goes off. <laughs> <It's gonna> say, <laughs> though, as, as Joe just said, if there's something like a solar storm or whatever that's that level, what the fuck good is it going to do for you to have your like insurance forms? <laughs> I'm calling my insurance guy every day. I'm driving <laughs> to his house in the Armageddon. It's like I better be covered, motherfucker. That's where the guy in the road was going. He and his kid were going to the insurance <laughs> office. <laughs> yes, they had some questions about his claim. <laughs> am, I, hey, am I covered for an orbital reversal? <laughs> nope, it's not your policy. On uh, page three, subparagraph B, box C, uh, what do I put here? One or two? You get all of your emergency plans together because you have to go to the insurance adjuster in person. So you got you to gotta go there to follow your proper paperwork. Uh, but the uh, number J... Is a jacket. You need it. You're gonna want a jacket, people. You're gonna want a jacket. Uh, K is for knife, which is always good to have. 
Uh, L, uh, light source. Yeah, definitely going to want a light source. M is for medical supplies. Absolutely. You need a basic first aid kit. Uh, N is for non-perishable foods, which we should all have. And there's plenty of like... Mm-hmm. Sweet potatoes. You can, uh, uh, <laughs> that's perishable. You don't need that. But Cigarettes. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and lottery tickets. That's not perishable And chewing tobacco. Non-perishable. And hot pockets. Non-perishable. And honey buns. And coffee. Mm-hmm. And Gatorade. And Coca-Cola. Yep. And aspirin. Mm-hmm. And lighters. Yep. Well, and ice cream. Yeah. No. No. And potato chips. Yeah. yeah. And magazines. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, is is a hot pocket non perishable? It's frozen. <laughs> I'd be, I'd worry about hot pockets and ice cream. I think everything else on that list, you're probably good. But good that's what eat. you get your you have your generator to keep those yeah. <laughs> your generator to keep your hot pockets cold. <laughs> Can't let these babies get warm. Yeah. <laughs> you got a generator plugged into a freezer and a microwave. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> uh, Sir, it looks like your emergency kit is just a generator and a microwave. Yeah. Hey, man. Uh, o is for oxygen tanks. If your family, if, if your, you or your family member relies on oxygen tanks for medical purposes, it's important to have a supply of tanks on hand in case of emergency. That's oddly specific. Couldn't you say O is also oxygen tanks if you need to throw them at people coming towards your house? Yeah. And set them on fire. Create a bomb. Uh, P is for pet supplies. If you have pets, it's important to include them in your emergency plans. Yeah, I totally agree. I have I have stuff stored for my doggies and cats just in case. They're probably Legit. good for about a month or two. Same. Actually, I have a backup bag. I always try to have a backup bag of the, I get the big ass bag mm-hmm. and it would probably last a while. It may be close to non-perishable because the dogs don't give a shit. Uh, number Q is uh, interesting. Quick clotting products. Uh, so uh, quick clotting powder is a highly effective uh, thing for controlling bleeding. Um, helps stop bleeding within minutes of application. It's made from clay-like substance that is applied directly to the wound uh, where it absorbs uh, excessive blood. Uh, do you have any of that, Joe? Do you have clotting, like, uh, clotting agents? I do not have clotting agents, but I do have the self adhesive bandage. I don't know if that counts. Mm. Get some Israeli bandages, some quick clot, and some tourniquets. There, I think there are other. So they recommend here quick clot gauze and Cleox powder. I'm going to get both those. Although there are some other things you can use in place of these clotting agents. Yeah. Cigarettes. You can clot with cigarettes. And lottery tickets. You can clot with lottery tickets. <laughs> and chewing tobacco. <laughs> yeah. Shove that in pockets. Mm, and, maybe. Hold still. I got to shove. Chewing tobacco into your gun wound. Sorry, sir. All guts a hot pocket. Hold still. <laughs> the, the hot pocket. If I mash it into your 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 shotgun wound, it will clot up. <laughs> and this is this is frozen because of my generator powered freezer. I'm gonna have to microwave it real quick. But <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me microwave the clotting agent real quick. <laughs> now the outside's still gonna be frozen, but the or the outside's gonna be uh, hot. The inside's still gonna be frozen. So yeah. just be careful. Hold on. Don't die for the next 30 seconds while I, while I heat up this Hot Pocket and shove it into your bleeding wound. Obviously, you were shot by somebody who wanted your oxygen supply, but okay. Uh, or your, our, pet, your pet emergency kit, maybe. <laughs> Someone's stealing my dog. <laughs> uh, R is for a respirator. Uh, S is for a smoke detector. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So respirator mask, they talk about... Hold on, oh, hold on. the clotting agent's done. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you don't shove in your wound, we'll eat. Yeah. I made two so we can have one as a snack. <laughs> yeah. I get hungry. Giving medical attention. <laughs> yeah, all, this, all this emergency medicine is making me hungry. Um, so they talked about respirators here, but we, over the past three years, we've been told that a shitty piece of cloth over your mouth is just as good as any respirator. So. Exactly. So you can cross this one off the list. Mm-hmm. Uh, S, smoke detectors. Um, what? What? Smoke detectors is a vital component of any emergency. I think those are called noses. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be worried about if my smoke detector works if the shit goes down. You know, if like a... Comet comes too close, asteroid impact. I'm not going to be running around asking my wife for to make sure the smoke detectors work. <laughs> I was going to say, if, if we're talking batteries. about gathering up uh, 
respirators and quick clotting agents. I don't think smoke detectors <laughs> is high on the list. Uh, I would say not. I would say it's pretty far down the list. Oh my God. Putin just launched missiles. Honey, smoke Check detectors. Check the batteries. Now. Check the batteries. I think they're <laughs> blinking. I heard one chirp. <laughs> Uh, T is for tent. A tent is an important item to have in an emergency because it can provide shelter. Yeah, absolutely. We got ours up in the backyard right now. <laughs> Just up there all the time. Yep. We go, go out. If shit goes down, go into the tent. <laughs> Just going to ride it out back there. Uh, U is for USB charger. Absolutely. Got to have that. V is for Vaseline. Uh, well, you know, hey, you never know. Uh, you might be bored. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else can I fit in here? Uh, Vaseline is a versatile product that can be used for a variety of emergency situations. It can be used to protect and moisturize the skin as well as to seal small cuts and scratches. In survival situations, Vaseline can be used as a fire starter or to lubricate gear. <laughs> it does say gear. It does. <laughs> uh, w is for water filter. Got to have that. Uh, X is for exacto knife. I mean, I got to agree with this. this is, uh, people don't talk about this very often, but an X-Acto knife or blade is a precise cutting tool that can be used to cut through a variety of material, including paper, fabric, and plastic. It's especially useful in emergency situations to cut through small items or make precise cuts. It's basically like a scalpel. Joe and I yeah. got proficient at using these things. But mm -hmm. but K was for knife, and X is for... Why do you have two knives? I, I guess so. You could really kill bird, two birds with one stone here, but... It is. This is. A, I would, this I would is, think X would be better served by xylophone. Maybe for music. Uh, I guess to pass the time or to charm people as they come over. <laughs> to to draw people closer towards the kill zone. Yes. Like what is that music? Y'all hear that music? Y'all hear xylophones? <laughs> I Go think I hear, they have their insurance documents. I think I hear a steel drum. It ain't steel drum. It's a xylophone, motherfucker. <laughs> You're out of the you're out of the post apocalyptic gang because you can't <laughs> identify the, <laughs> the instruments correctly. And uh, Y is for yellow rubber cleaning gloves. Okay. What? That's a stretch. That's what they're doing here. And Z is for zip top bags. They call I find it interesting that he uses zip top as a generic term. Yeah, but clearly called out exacto by brand name. Yes. There's no TM next to it exactly. They couldn't use Ziploc because of the trademark. It's not. They don't want to be associated with prepper lists. <laughs> okay. I agree. I got, I got most of these things. You know, the only thing I'm, I'm running low on is Vaseline. And, and ex <laughs> I'm low on it. Vaseline and Exacto knives. <laughs> and insurance documents. Insurance. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Having that guy on my contact emergency contact list. <laughs> But looking back over this, I find it interesting that F is for fire extinguisher, not fire starter. Yeah. Like there's nothing. So you need a tent, but a way to put out a fire, not start one. Yeah. I, there's no kind of fire starting instrument here. Dude, there's, there's one. I can't remember the brand, but there was one that I watched. It's like you could just, it, it lights in the rain. It's some like prepper shit. Because I was getting a lot of prepper ads on Instagram a while ago, but it was it was incredible. I got to find it. I was going to buy it. Hmm. If you see like, it again, I'd like to. Does this I'd, work? I'd like to be a part of that. I'd like to buy oh, that. Shit. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, this is a, a damn fine list. You got us one step closer to the to the, uh, the new kingdom. The new kingdom. <laughs> it the new kingdom. In the new kingdom, you'll have all these. All things. this shit is, it comes by default. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I don't know if we have time for another story, but we can try. I'm going to see if I can find a short one. Bounce me out of here. Okay, let's do it. That's some goddamn bullshit. All right, I'll rattle off a couple of headlines. Um, so after, uh, they don't mention it by name, but after Epstein died, now uh, Biden's going to um, sign a bill that forces all security cameras in the Bureau of Prisons to work all the time. Oh, well, he's dead. So, uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. <laughs> or do. Yep. Um, <laughs> I do have the one that exists only as an, uh, a story for you to play drops. It's about fishing. Mm. Well, we'll save that one for Saturday because I know where you're okay. going. 
Uh, we have a California teen who made up fake parking tickets to collect payments. Pretty ingenious. Uh, we have Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, they don't fix a giant pothole, so people went out and put a Christmas tree in it. Kind of like what Rod Stewart did. <laughs> Maybe it was Rod Stewart. Maybe. Uh, South Korea has lifted its ban on imported sex dolls. Oh, about time. Uh, Arizona man uh, tries to bring a woman back to life by stabbing her in the heart. Does that work? No, it did not work. <laughs> Let's read that one real quick. Okay. All right. And into carrot shop. There you go. Uh, this is from uh, your neck of the woods in, uh, or your old, your yeah, old, old stomping stomp grounds yeah. in, uh, so I saw of Phoenix here, Mesa. All right. Yeah. Arizona man tries to bring woman back to life by stabbing her in the heart, police say. Uh. Man, I got mixed emotions about this one. Yeah. Wouldn't it be something if it worked? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> this shit works. Write that down. Uh, uh, in Mesa, Arizona, Arizona man is accused of performing a ritual to bring a dead woman back to life by stabbing her in the heart and then not telling police about it uh, after about the body for days, authority says. Okay. Well, he's probably waiting for the ritual to work. It takes a while to warm that stuff up. Uh, jo uh, Stephen Stefan Joseph Anderson, 34, of Mesa, was arrested Wednesday and charged with one felony count of disorderly conduct, one felony count of, of mutilation of a body, and, and a misdemeanor count of failure to report a death. Um, Anderson also faces a recommended charge of being prohibited of being a prohibited professor of weapons. <laughs> prohibited pro oh, possessor of weapons. Possessor. I said professor. Professor of weapons. <laughs> like, Wrong. That's a quiet title. Put, it's like a D and D put, title. Yeah, put that on your business card. Like I'm my class in D and D is a professor of weapons. A uh, possessor of weapons because he is a convicted felon and is not allowed to have a knife, according to the island. You're not if you're a felon, you can't even have a knife. Holy but crap. there was two on that list. You have yeah. to have two kinds of knives. Exacto blade and the regular kind. Uh, court records show uh, Anderson met the woman, Rebecca Lynn Lambert, 33, at a park near his house. The couple went to Anderson's bedroom and allegedly took methamphetamines. Allegedly. Anderson allegedly told investigators that he took a shower and when he returned to the bedroom, Lambert was dead. Okay, court documents stated that Anderson tried to revive Lambert by performing a ritual that included stabbing the woman in the heart with a five-inch knife. Uh, Anderson was observed in the middle of the street holding a knife and a hammer. Uh-oh. Uh, officers arrived to the scene moments later, uh, told him to drop the knife, which he did. Anderson was taken into custody, according to the television station reporting on this. According to police, Anderson was taken to a mental health facility in a telephone call to his mother, Anderson allegedly told her to keep his children out of his bedroom. <laughs> Don't go in there. Whatever you do, do not go in there. Uh, curious, uh, the women went to the residence and found Lambert's body. Oh, boy. So he was, the cops showed up there unrelated to the dead body. Well, they arrested him because he was out in the street with a knife and a hammer, apparently yeah. looking for Paul Pelosi or it's something. A, it's a bad look. On. It's tough to, it's tough to, <laughs> tough to justify that one to the cops. And then he tells his mom, hey, I'm in jail, but whatever you do, don't go in the bedroom. She's like, okay. And she immediately goes in the bedroom and there's just a corpse on the ground. You say, like, sir, what do you, why do you have a knife and hammer in the streets? I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese. This is what you take there. I have, I, I'm bringing my own utensils. Friday night fight night. <laughs> fight, fight night at Chuck E. Cheese tonight. Ah, uh, boy. 50% off second pizza. Yep. Um, I never heard of the the that knife ritual, stabbing someone in the heart with a knife. I'm, I'm just not wondering sure that would work. I'm just wondering if this guy got confused because he watched Pulp Fiction and they they jam that like adrenaline needle in someone's heart, and they that that shocks him back to life with that adrenaline shot. Like if he saw that movie but just misremembered it in place of the adrenaline needle, he used a knife, expecting the same results. Here's the other question: Was she actually dead or just passed out? Yeah, and then he killed her. That's the thing. Like, how do you? Like, maybe the coroners can identify like cause of death, but I don't know. Maybe he covered up his own crime by stabbing her and giving her drugs. Well, let's see. This took place in November, and there's no follow up on it. So you might be out by now. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> 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 served his time. Eh, served your time. Yeah. 
Just don't stab any more people. You promise? Eh, okay. Good enough for me. Give Here us around. an email at ourbigdumbmouth at gmail.com. Check out obdmpod.com for other social media and donation links. 